Dave, I maybe would hear you say. Could you tell us about a day that you've had recently? Yes. Yes, I can. I was in my room the other day, led in my boudoir on the bed, watching fail compilations on YouTube. Probably my favourite thing to do. I am obsessed with them. Doesn't matter how many times I watch someone fall and injure themselves, or drop something and injure themselves, or drive a car into a ravine and injure themselves, I laugh. If I see one more toddler stick a safety spoon in its eye, I will probably burst. But it also has made me completely lose faith in the human race. Millions, millions of years of evolution. The fine-tuning of a species. And there's always going to be some prat on the London Underground who can't go down an escalator without ending up in a &E. <laughs> And I'm watching the YouTube. I'm watching the fails. The YouTube. That's what we call it now. <laughs> if you're in the know, you know. <laughs> and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, without any warning, I need a pee. <laughs> But I'm not going yet. There's six minutes of fails left. It can wait. We get to the end of the video. There's another one for 11 minutes. That's not long. We'll watch that one as well. I'll hold it in. I'm a grown man. I'll fight the good fight. We'll get through this. And then we get to the end of that one. And I roll a fag. The leg's twitching, but I carry on. And then, and then I go on Facebook, because you never know something might have happened. Then, then I peel myself out of my mattress and I make the journey off to the toilet and I unleash myself. I let her rip. And it's all over in two seconds. Two seconds. It's barely enough to fill a shot glass. If me and Bear Grylls were trapped on a desert island, we'd be dead within days. We'd have plenty to eat. I'm happy to announce that just the other day I laid a brown cable that was at least as big as an adult weasel. <laughs> but without fluids, you haven't got long left. <laughs> and I look down at the porcelain, and that's when it hits me. I was born in 1984. I'm 30 years old. Young men don't make toilet like this. <laughs> And a small part of me is telling me that you're old now. And that small part is my penis. <laughs> but don't worry. Don't worry. What I lack in majesty of shaft, I more than made up for in a massive ball sack. <laughs> it is literally like two watermelons with a toupee stuck on. <laughs> I've been drinking watermelon. That's what Beyonce says. Ladies, but there's been some confusion as to what she means by drinking watermelon. It is not to improve the taste of another man's cup, as I was told. It doesn't matter how much watermelon Beyonce imbibes, she will never affect the taste of someone else's cup. It's not going to happen unless she sort of sticks it in the side of her mouth while she's sucking the penis and stepping out and inhales through it and it, I mean, it's not a bad idea but but that's, that's not the reason it is also, as I read on the Urban Dictionary um, a euphemism for drinking cum ladies and gentlemen, Beyonce is the queen of the liberated woman she does not drink cum <laughs> no Are you okay? Did something fall off of you? No, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why she's been drinking watermelon is because it's an aphrodisiac. It gets the sexy going. Jay-Z Jay doesn't need an aphrodisiac. When he's getting ready for sex, he's about to fuck Beyonce. However, over in Camp Beyonce, we might be needing a little bit of sexual inspiration. I don't want to knock Jay-Z too much, 
being worth 560 million is a really good start in the bedroom, but if you were born with a face that looked like Gary Glitter's asshole after a month in prison, <laughs> you might want to spend a dollar on a watermelon. <laughs> I want to reach out to you now, people. Is there any straight men in the audience? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to make it. Can I, can I get a holler? Holler! There are no straight men in the audience. I found out I was straight when I was 15. And it hasn't always been easy. But I walked through it because that's who I am and that's who I need to be. But straight men, I think you're with me when I say I am a little bit gay for Gosling. I am gay for Gosling. And I will be there when Gosling rises up, learns to fly, and finally becomes Ryan Goose. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.